I'm fucking being burnt over here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Gather round and listen to a tale of brave souls, big and small, where they go on adventures, where they may trip but never fall. Trials, triumphs, and doing their best. Join us, friends, on a stumble quest. Last time on Stumble Quest, Art, Bricks, and Knack head back to town and uh, shave a coyote's head on the way. Everyone meets back up at the town's smaller than generally required hotel, and the gang has a serious discussion about interpersonal matters and necromantic tones. There was, there was, uh, there was that one guy, though, something, something, Krusty Gib. He, he got pretty pissed and some, oh, some hands like were one. thrown. Neck, Neck starts laughing. He didn't like that at all. No, he really didn't. <laughs> That's, um, okay. Okay. Oh, no. Great. <laughs> Do you want to share? Whatever it is that is, uh, oh yeah, clearly... he's just the most uh, notorious pirate in the last few ages. What? Wait, <laughs> bro, an actual sentence. Yeah, ever... I mean, there was the golden age of pirates, like a few hundred years ago and stuff, and then there was kind of like a died down period. And Krusty Gib is Krusty is... Gib. Yeah. A dude called Krusty Gib is the most notorious pirate right now. Uh, I mean, that does sound like a a, pre a pretty good yes. pirate name. Krusty Gib, captain of the rude boy. Of the rude bo <laughs> The rude Will boy. Will looks personally offended, by the way. Yeah, yeah the Art's, Art's, Art, Art will remember this. Art's examining this personal I'm sorry. Event, but yeah, I'm captain sorry. of the gay rude boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I mentally added gay in there. <laughs> Nack looks at Bricks with eyes all bright and sparkly and says, You hear that? You got a pirate. I mean... You um, swindled a pirate. I mean, first of all, we swindled a pirate. So you can take we some did. of that praise, buddy. <laughs> well, all I have to say about this is I sure hope that uh, not being able to die thing kicks in before this guy uh, f finds us. <laughs> what? How many people do we have after us at this point? What's one more? I'm sorry, Will. What exactly are you offended by? What's the? I want to know where your priorities are right now. Well, he just sounds lame. <laughs> I see. So it's not the fact that he owns a giant ship with like twenty cannons or <laughs> what? The rude, the rude boy is a man of war. Well, not exactly a man of war, but pretty big. Not even a man of war. That's oh, I'm sorry, because it's so easy to get a man of war. No, you have to. You have to obviously fight for it. But if you, I mean, if you are the most notorious pirate of this age, you would at least have a man of war, maybe a couple of other galleons. You know, an actual fleet. <laughs> we got him good. Yeah, he was cursing us a lot, and uh, called us his like mortal enemies and stuff. <laughs> I really don't like this. Do you oh, see what we have to do, right? Get them again? We one of those. have to be pirates. No, oh, that's not necessary. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with that. <laughs> well, what are we going to do if a pirate ship rolls up on us? We just going to roll over and show our bellies? We just going to sink ourselves? <laughs> you could argue we already are out of the you know maritime law considering we sank a few mountain boats on our way out yeah, yeah we sank those those punk ass uh military boats we should be able to sink a a, a pirate boat yeah we could be scary too oh god <laughs> we did do that didn't we yeah we did <laughs> oh god we're closer than we thought <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> See, we have already got a little pirate in all of us. You just don't want to admit it yet. Uh, it's okay. I don't want to be a pirate. <laughs> oh. oh, don't um, worry. As soon as we can leave you back home, we will, and you can forget all about being a pirate. <laughs> we'll be the pirates. 
You don't have to. You, you, you can. Laka looks depressed. <laughs> Why? Shit, you you, you not... do want to be pirate, or you don't. <laughs> we're not pirates. <laughs> you're you're a little bit pirates. <laughs> Arts in firm denial. We're not pirates. <laughs> a, a, a little a pirate. <laughs> We've got beef. Pure denial. With a pirate okay, so captain. With the pirate captain. <laughs> we sink a small fleet of military ships. We've got notoriety already. We just commit. Do you know how many people Krusty Gib has killed? Not us. How many? Enlighten me. Like six? Countless. Hundreds. Oh, yeah. Yes, of course. And who says that? Is it him? It's everybody. He sounds like a little upstart with a tiny little boat. Yeah, well, Oswald, what's your, how many people have you killed? I don't think we need to be going yeah, down. Yeah, Oswald, how many people way. have you killed? <laughs> uh, I've seen this guy. He, I, he's pretty scary, too. I'm just saying, baby, Oswald is actually a better pirate than this crusty gib. I, all I'm I, saying is Oswald's a better pirate captain than him. And I, I think we're losing the thread here. And I want a mutiny all the time. <laughs> And we've seen how well Oswald can captain a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, Our ability to get off track is fantastic, by the way. It, an insult. I really like how that turned into a neg. Super hard. <laughs> yeah. Super fast, Fuck's yeah. sake. Oswald could kick this guy's ass and he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. our argument. If you guys want to talk about shitty pirate captains, though, there's this one ship going around. It's called the Revenger or something. <laughs> oh my God, they have... I don't even know. There's only been a few, like a handful of confirmed raids by them, and they've gotten, like, grain. Oh. See, we've got, like, no competition. If we don't no. have competition, we're not trying to be pirates. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's all of us against you. You're the only one who doesn't want to be a pirate. Hey, I, I also Alaka don't doesn't want to be a, want to be a pirate. I don't. I think Will wants to be a pirate. I, you want to I, be a pirate, I, right? I, I mean, I'm not I'm opposed here. to the idea. That's just a pirate is just a sea burglar. So you know. Okay, so at best we are majority indifferent and. I don't wish to be a pirate. Oswald hasn't said not a single thing this entire time. We have no idea what he means. <laughs> Oswald is looking back and forth between the two groups and just goes, uh, uh, I wasn't going to say anything because I was too embarrassed, but I don't know what a pirate is. Oh. <laughs> Oswald. You don't. Yeah, Nack just leaves. Nack just <laughs> walks away. He shuffles out. He, but he, he's got his head in his hands. He goes, Oswald, you fucked us. He <laughs> walks off. This is why you're a shitty captain, Oswald. <laughs> yeah. Oswald. Oh, Oswald. Wow. Uh, I mean, people have been talking about p pirates in, in both good ways and bad ways, so I kind of was just going to follow the vibe, and then I remember at some point somebody said something to Will about pirates a long time ago, and Will got all weird about it, and, and then- I don't we... remember that. To be fair, you were getting weird about it again just now, too. I wasn't. I was just saying, look, I, 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> does, it, weird. does Krusty <laughs> give it sound like a, like a great pirate to you? <laughs> just me. I mean, pirates are, are like kind of cool, and it would be embarrassing if the best of them was a guy called Chrissy Gibb with the rude boy <laughs> for a ship. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have a strong opinion on it. Well, actually. me neither, but I'm just saying hypothetically. No, you do have a very <laughs> strong You are getting extremely de defensive <laughs> about it for no reason. No, 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 yeah. no. Look, yeah. I, 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 I'm not upset. I just mean, like, I don't know, but, but back in my day, which was, I guess, a long time ago, I suppose, but back in my day, pirates were proper pirates and not Krusty Gib. Damia <laughs> unexpectedly pipes up and says, I actually agree with Will. Ah, see? I used to read a lot about pirates when I was a little girl, and I always thought they were so fascinating. See, see, and she's smart. Uh, yeah, they're fascinating in, in mutton scrugs, they're not. <laughs> wait, wait, there's pirate. No, there's no pirates in the mutton scrugs book. <laughs> Books, darling. Not in the one that you have. But Wait. 
No, ho- there's one. There's only... There's... <laughs> there's a lot of them. Is this how... <laughs> Oswald, there's... There's a lot of... One of them is entirely about pirates. Uh, there, there's like a whole pirate arc, really. There's about yeah. five or six books that are just pirates. So the way I kind of view the layout in this is Oswald has been standing kind of close to art or sitting close to art. And as you say that stuff, Oswald, without looking at art, kind of grabs the front of his shirt and pulls him in and goes, "Uh, I'm sorry, books? Whoa. I I mean, I was going to let you know eventually that Mutton Scruggs is actually a very long and ongoing series. And the one you have is about, I don't know, the 16th book. It's, uh... It, it just, it, we didn't really have the time for light reading. <laughs> Oswald lets go of your shirt collar and just, have you ever seen that Lisa Simpson reaction photo <laughs> where she's just kind of like head down with Damn the it. mouth yeah. open and the <laughs> eyes wide? He's doing that. <laughs> wow. Next time we're at a market, we can find you some. For Looks like boat. we should have started opening up with this. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought there was only a bu- one. I I guess you just had one. They don't really have numbers on them. Uh, you just kind of have to. I no. I do think somewhere in one of the first pages there they say it's an installation in a series. You maybe just thought that was part of the book. Oswald leans back and goes, "Ah, I can't decide if this is the best or worst day of my life. I can't. I to." Uh, we, I don't care about pirate uh, pirates anymore. I don't. We can do whatever. I just. I need. I want to hit a. I would like a library or, or something. Yeah, you'll need some time to process that. Do you think they've translated Mutton Scruggs into Goblin? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Is that popular? Mutton Scruggs is available in so many languages. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mutton Scruggs is like the common ground. Mm-hmm. Ah. For the entire world. Yeah. We all live on the same planet, right? Even I know there's more of those. Damn. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That's rough, dude. (laughs) First gets made fun for not knowing what pirates are, and now gets just dragged for not knowing that there's one more than one. (laughs) Meanwhile, Art still hasn't really answered the question about, like, how he feels about... I don't know if Oswald cares anymore. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) <laughs> I think he's, he's, he's fine-ish This is Oswald's villain arc Yeah <laughs> yeah. Finding out that Mutton Scruggs is more than one book He could either become a hero or a villain We don't know which yeah. Nobody told him <laughs> This was the revelation And then we're all clowning on him <laughs> <laughs> I'm not clowning on him Art's defending himself Art knew that this was going to be a, a blow up Yeah I want to tell everyone just how long this has been that that we came up with this to now Oswald realizing like it's been like three years yeah. <laughs> since our initial yeah. conversations about mm-hmm. oh yeah Oswald doesn't know of, that there's more of these books and he's got one it's of them momentous. and there's a whole series and everyone knows and he doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. been three years since we had that, co- <laughs> that conversation. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's again. It's easy to forget that we're here for a slow burn. Yeah, in uh, in campaign, it's been like what a few months, six a few uh, months, three. I would I'd imagine like, between three and six months. Yeah, right. I thought, I thought somebody Something said. Like I thought somebody calculated that it was like five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm not sure. I might be on. I, might be talking I, I think it's. Ass. I think it's. Yeah, five or so six o- months. I, Oswald's yeah. been out of the swamp for that amount of time. Oh yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's still that's fair. plenty of new shit. Yeah. He, he doesn't needs to know. Th- this is fair. Art also encountered a Mutton Scruggs book in the wild in the market in Mutton. Oh yeah, that's right. Did he pick it up? I can't remember. He did, but I think he gave it to Larian. He didn't yeah. want to have the discussion with us. <laughs> yeah, and it's happening now. <laughs> yeah, because Art fucked up. <laughs> In Goblin Town, well, wait, like, opening up means you have to tell Oswald there's more than one modern Scrooge. Like, that's what it comes yeah. to. <laughs> Our emotional. By the end of the scene, with everything we've been talking about, we're going to be like, oh, okay, well, good night. And then it's going to be like, no, 
We've been talking for two days. <laughs> it's time to go get. It's time to go get that guy. Oh. Fuck. Sorry about the mutton scrubs. Sorry, I didn't tell you earlier. <laughs> I do like the idea of this being Oswald's villain arc, where he's just everybody's like, "Oh, sorry, we yeah. forgot to tell you," and just under his breath, he's like, "I'm gonna destroy the world now. <laughs> I'm so angry. I I am evil yeah. now. Yeah. I'm evil now. Alignment shift <laughs> due to mutton scrubs." Oh my god. There's how many books? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Well, there's only about 42 good ones. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oswald's like, fuck this. I'm quitting. I'm quitting the group. I gotta go read. <laughs> I have to go read 41 Oswald becomes books. a lich king whose sole purpose is hoarding is all books? of the Mutton Scruggs books that exist in the universe. <laughs> like, that's even the bad one ones. of those things. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna start yeah. ghostwriting them. That's that's Oswald's arc. He's gonna be the Mutton Scruggs ghostwriter. He's got a lot of reading material now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have to read your stinky book anymore. <laughs> your stinky beloved book. Up. <laughs> yeah, no the the stinky necromancer book. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, fuck that one. Uh, starts getting levels on Mutton Scruggs. Yeah. As a class. Oh my god, he starts becoming like a, a fighter or a ranger. Pugilist, yeah. <laughs> Reading mutton scraps. Yeah. Yeah, he uh. becomes a pugilist. Yeah. 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 I played a a goblin character who took pugilist as a skill on my skill points. <laughs> I would just drop my weapons to the ground and box people, and my skill <laughs> was so high that the DM and the DM was so lenient with how it worked that I was just like knocking monsters and people out in like single punches. <laughs> so it would just roll a skill check. <laughs> It'd be like plus thirty. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh my <laughs> god, fist of the North Star. Like this is really you can, this is what happens. Light. Like with the people that we have in this group, you cannot allow them to do this shit to you because they will derail you every time into some other garbage <laughs> and distract you from the goal. The conversation went literally the same way every other conversation goes, where we try <laughs> to talk to each other and then it gets postponed to whenever. And like we never reached the a, a logical conclusion to any of the conversations we had. Yep. Except no. Mutton what, what person we'll at a time? Like we did, we did, yeah, we did Oswald, and then it was like we can't people. <laughs> yeah. And then we had a brief conversation about pirates, and then it was Mutton Scruggs, and being very upset about the state of piracy in today's world. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why he—that is how Will gets away with never explaining anything. <laughs> He's just like figured it out. We need to be the change we want to see in the world. Are we talking about pirates? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ironically, that is kind of that is kind of pirates. You you have to be the change you want to see in the world. That's true. Yes. That is being a pirate. We would be That's so true. good at it. We would literally be so good at it. I mean, we would. That's true. I feel like art would have some serious like self-image issues. We've got beef with the biggest pirate captain in the world. If he comes rolling up on us, all we gotta do is take him out, and that makes us the next top dog. <laughs> that is true. true. We Why have our logic? in. We have our in. The black beard of this generation is Krusty Give of the Rude Boy. <laughs> I am actually offended myself as a black. Yeah, the gay Why? rude boy. Because he seemed like Why an idiot gay? when he got when he got <laughs> conned. Well, okay, he personally did not get conned. Okay. It was his crew. I see. Yeah? Like Buddy the Friend Slayer. Oh, right. Oh, Buddy Friend Slayer. Right. Okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> he slays your friends. Who the fuck is that? That was one of the guys He's we called. Buddy Friend Slayer. <laughs> we fucked with them and we got away with it. Like, that is like. We are pirates. We're just pirates. <laughs> I mean, you are technically pirates, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, that's all I needed to hear was the DM to say. <laughs> also, real casually, I want to point out that Bricks stood in the center of this fucking circle and pointed fingers at everybody. And at no time did anyone say, hey, mysterious talking cat, what's your fucking deal? <laughs> Don't worry. I was absolutely going to ask. Yeah, I was thinking about that the person <laughs> that, that like Will knows the least about is 
decidedly breaks. So yeah, that shit was not gonna fly. Don't worry. <laughs> but the problem with that is that bricks is probably the most normal of all of us. So it's like <laughs> I. Mean... There was also the issue of bricks being the one to confront everybody, so everyone was being defensive. Yeah, that's fair. Towards bricks. <laughs> yeah, nobody wanted to flip it. Which yeah. I was to expecting, be to be honest with you. I was expecting someone to just be like, eh, wait a minute. <laughs> but instead, everyone Hold just went full second. defensive mode. I, I mean, but Art was, was going to. <laughs> was it the pirates or the mutton scrugs that like completely uh, banished the uh, idea? Uh, a bit of both. Uh, that's fair. A bit of both, I guess. Because yeah, Art at this point is just like, what what's left? <laughs> I got no secrets. <laughs> You guys know about my shitty dad and my sh shitty place that I came from, the weird cult that I grew up in. <laughs> What's your deal with Larian? Yeah, did you kiss him? Yeah, did you? No, you him? he's really straight. He better be. <laughs> he's got a wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> he my better kid. be. I don't even think he knew I, he ever even knew I liked him. There you go. How about There's that? No chance. <laughs> There's no chance. He would not have. Good. Literally, like if we were talking about Larry and Art, I'd be like, D I, I, the, the, you, the heart wants what the heart wants. He's fucking stupid, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I might like the man, but he is stupid I can't help and it. straight. I'm I must admit, <laughs> yeah, he's he's dumb and he's straight. And that was that was on me. My bad. <laughs> he is a dumb straight guy. In case it wasn't extremely clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, okay, I did it. I fell for a stupid straight boy. <laughs> Fine, laugh at it. Yeah. He's just a fucking jock. I don't know why he did the cleric track. <laughs> Again, real stupid. Because <laughs> he didn't want to go and do the hard manual labor. He's also kind of lazy. Wow, well, what a, what a gift he is. What a gift. <laughs> yeah, He's gift very charismatic. Yeah. That's That's... That's what he's got going for him. <laughs> Give from... He's got big, like, golden retriever energy. He's big and stupid, he but he's got, like, kind eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. God's gift to elves. He's just a little elves, himbo. For sure. <laughs> there, weren't, there weren't a lot of people around the city, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just like, I like this one because he's adorable, I guess. Yeah. This one smiled at me. <laughs> This one talks to me. That's my bar. My bar is I don't have friends. Oh, no. <laughs> Art, was, yeah. Art was a fucking yeah, loser. True, this yeah. was his only friend. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Him yeah. and Mal. And they would hang out. Yeah. And it would be rapscallions. Well, and now they're Larian married. and Mal would be rapscallions. And Art would be there. <sighs> okay. Okay. Where were we? <laughs> so now that we're, we're tackling Pirate and Mutton Scruggs quest at the same time. Solving the big mysteries first. Yes. The big and then we will get to people's deep-rooted traumas and fears. <laughs> yeah, who and cares desires. about that? Clearly, Mutton Scrubs in the state of piracy currently is way more important. <laughs> Look, all right? Yeah. I never said that Krusty Gibb didn't have a fleet. His main ship is just the Rude Boy. All right? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. It's not important. <laughs> is it not? It's not important. No, it's... Don't. Don't egg him on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. I don't care, actually. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, so that. Okay. So, what's the plan now, guys? Pirates. That is what's next. Uh, with, um, with with no intention to be rude, but I've been meaning to ask you something, Briggs. Pirates. But, well, no. Oh. We can talk about that later if you want. But I mostly meant. Why can you talk? I, my mom taught me. Why can your mom talk? <laughs> I don't know how come your mom can talk. Eh, fair point. And this is this is how this line of questioning usually goes. Mm -hmm. It's true. Why, Why does I, anyone's mom talk, really? Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have a mom, so I don't know. That work, that doesn't work on me. All right, fair. Then how come you can talk? Wow. Huh. <laughs> your mom didn't teach you you just like you like walked out of an egg and you were like look at me i'm i'm will and i have a big chest and hey look at me i've got words falling out of my mouth is that how it happened i'm being birthed over here <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm fucking being birthed over here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> watch where you're going. Yeah, the yeah, doctor she... slapped you and he went, hey, watch it. <laughs> Yeah, or just looks at Will and goes like, she unraveled a, a whole tabaxi with that line of argument. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, well, I should pick my battles better anyways, to be fair. <laughs> I love that Bricks got extremely aggressively defensive <laughs> when asked. She always does. I did say no offense. <laughs> and none taken, but asked, also... Because I'd meant to. <laughs> Mind your business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, actually, isn't this uh, what you're the ones who are all about love and friendship? Isn't this about not minding my business? <laughs> Do you want me to mind my business or not? <laughs> I pose the question. I mean, nobody was asking you about your mom. I was just well, ask me about my mom. Okay, then. well, what's your deal with your mom then? I don't have a okay. Mom. Conversation over. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> You mean like she left you, or...? No, I just don't have one. I don't have one. I just was... How does that work? I don't get it. Well, I just was born of of the Earth. Don't have a mom. Art puts a finger up at was born, and he's like, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the question part. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the sticking point. Yeah. Well, like uh, a golem? Ew. He, like, looks at himself. <laughs> I'm gonna be forgiven for thinking that this is made of stone, but no. <laughs> I'm not a golem. <laughs> no, I guess that you... What do you call it? Sprouted? <laughs> Spr- like, like a, a plant? Aw, oh, man, there goes my like egg bricks. theory. Bricks crumples up a paper that she found on the floor and throws it. Okay, so... Like, you, like you came out of a tree? Or... Well, I was one for a while. I don't know. What was that? 50 years or so? <laughs> We've all been children once. Obviously. Were you never a tree? No. Waka <laughs> assumes just standing man emoji oh. posture. <laughs> With all arms. Like, stunned. Mm. Silent. Yes. And when I could walk, I just hung around for a bit and there were a bunch of people. But you were a tree? For a bit. Don't judge me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I think. <gasps> well, it is It is hard learning how to be, you know, a different form. Have you tried? Turn into something else. Come on. <laughs> Most people can't turn into something else. What? Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. And we, we kind of didn't address it because it didn't really seem like the right time when we were leaving on the ship. But I guess yeah. we could have addressed it any time after that. Address what? I I mean... Where'd all your hair we, go? <laughs> we know you're not human, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, God forbid. Um, wow. First of all, <laughs> damn. There's, I don't... Oh, no, there is a human in the group. Never mind. <laughs> oh, sorry. No offense. I mean, kind of offense, but not full offense Little because offense. you're my friend, Oswald. <laughs> Plus, oh, it won't yeah. be for long, right? Soon enough, that won't be offensive to anyone. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot to unpack in that specific statement alone. Can I roll for if we have enough clues to finally state in character <laughs> exactly what? Sure. What knowledges do you have? I don't got nature. I got knowledge nature. Can I roll a knowledge nature? Or is this not in knowledge nature? This could be nature. Probably, you have like a nature. It's just like, like knowing what a creature is, right? I, I don't have a knowledge arcana, but I think we usually just do arcana rolls with arts like actual knowledge because he's a spellcaster. Mm. So mm. he should at least All have that. <laughs> nonsensical, stupid secrets that we have kept from people for no good reason are like suddenly just like being talked, just like not casually. I like how this <laughs> one wasn't even technically really no, a secret. It was, it was not. just nobody, nobody asked. Just exactly. No one addressed That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And then suddenly you ask and it's. I got a 20 on my knowledge nature. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Okay, so yeah. With the clues provided and everything that Will has just said, you can definitively state that they are a dryad. Nax just standing there and then he like snaps his finger and goes, Oh, I know what you are now. 
You're a triad. Oh, well, you didn't know before? Wait, wait, wait. I... Did nobody in this group <laughs> know what I was? We all talk in half conversations. I don't know. I, I, I needed more information. Well, we have a real problem here. <laughs> we do. I know you are a Thrycreen. And I know you are an elf. I feel kind of offended. <laughs> well, I you don't run into a lot of dryads. All you uprights kind of look the same to me. Uh, I no. mean, to be fair, I, I didn't know what a pirate was. How the fuck do you expect me to know what a dry dryad is? Yeah, is a dryad just <laughs> a dry a pirate? Like, oh, maybe. <laughs> it's a. It's. I'll be a dryad. Very... This fucking schmuck. Hey. <laughs> no, Oswald. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To <laughs> you <smart>. specifically. <laughs> well, yes. I didn't think it was a big mystery. No, is... uh, well, it never really came up, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Huh. Continues to happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, okay, so n you, I know elves can't change. No. Can can you change bricks? Or are you, like... I mean, I can, I can go from bricks to normal cat, and then she shimmies out of her dress. Ta-da! I mean, meow. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got to work on wow. the male part. Mm -hmm. Nax like, right. Nax like nodding. Like, that's really good, Bricks. That's that's a really good trick. Thanks. <laughs> I've been practicing. I mean, I've seen like you turn that. into like sharks and stuff, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say I like that coming from the only other person who can shape shift. Mm. <laughs> Nax just like oh, stop. You don't. You don't mean that. Honestly, we don't take advantage of this enough that Brix is just a cat and could get any mm -hmm. info from anything, oh, from anyone. Are you kidding me? Art is constantly holding mm -hmm. all of Brix's things. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that does happen sometimes. It does happen. I, I but it like is half something... the time I have just a little bindle with me. <laughs> it's Where true. Where you're just like, it is I know funny most that... of this is stolen. I should throw this away. <laughs> it's funny that sometimes... And it, it, it even has, like, it even could have an in-character explanation that we just don't think about it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's just a, a normal... She's... Brix is absurdly she, normal to all of us now. She's one of the one of the, the team. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. oh, yeah, you're a cat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. I am not a normal cat, all right? I'm half forest cat, half circus cat. That's a big deal, because there's not a lot of them. 100% bad bitch. 100% <laughs> bad <laughs> bitch, yeah. Wait, uh, what is a circus cat? Like a cat from the circus, I mean. <laughs> from what circus? Like you wor worked at the circus? How oh, mean, no. <laughs> me work? <laughs> well, then, then what makes you a circus cat? I mean, it's like, you know, my lineage, it's, it's where my mom's from. Your mother was a circus cat then? Yeah. And Mac knows. Oh, that's great, because that helps me very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> to, to well, know. I don't know. I do have that, got that right up here. Nag taps his head. It's true. What, what, what did your mom do at the circus? What? I, she entertained people, I mean... What else is a circus there for? Was it like a traveling circus? I, I don't know. Yes. Oh. Here. And she she takes off her cloak on the inside. She basically turns it inside out. And you can see that it is a painted canvas that, you know, traveling oh. circuses use to advertise oh, the oh, sites. Yeah. And inside is a painted portrait of a little calico cat. Dancing on a like a rolly ball. <laughs> it says Claudia the dancing calico. And she's wearing the dress that Brix is wearing. But the dress fits the cat in the painting a hell of a lot better. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh. So this is your mother. Yeah. Claudia. The it, circus cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that Claudia with like a like a W? Yes. Yes. Of course mm. it is. <laughs> Where is your mother now? What, uh, the, um, I, well, you know, out there do, doing things. Okay. 
with the circus still? I no. So why did you leave? I you know I I was the ripe old age of five and uh-huh. it was important for me to see the you know the important thing is that we're going to be pirates right and we're going to travel uh-huh. the world and there's a lot of pirating we're going to be doing and that really is the most important exactly thing. you get it and she's like putting her cape back on okay I'm trying to remember what Bricks had told Art before in the tower. Did she mention that she was looking for her family? I think she's kind of sort of said it to Knack. And I think she told Art, if I remember correctly, that even though he doesn't really get along with his parents, you know, at least he knows where they are sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, that is what I was going to ask next, <laughs> but if you do know it already. Rex, did you actually meet your mom? Y- yes, of course I did. Okay. Who do you think taught me to talk? And, like, walk and dance and gave me this cool dress? Y- yes, but you, were ve- but you were very young when you left. Is it young? Are you young? I'm five. <laughs> is that very young? So it was this year. What? Huh? Did you you just left? Oh. You said you left at the ripe old age of five. Yep. And you're five now. So you left. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I see. Bricks. <laughs> Bricks, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> shut up! We're interrogating Bricks. Bricks, are you lost? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut up, conscience. <laughs> oh, the meow. I, I mean, stop, please, <laughs> please. I mean, you're you're not lost in the sense you you have a place with us, of course. Exactly. See, yeah, you get it. Anyways, oh, oh, so tired. I'm gonna head off to bed. Wait, uh, Good night. Your... Bricks. Bricks it's you... not bedtime. If it's always bedtime for cats. Help you. Which I am one. We can help Bricks. you, you know. Bricks, hey, cats and glass houses should not be tossing stones. I'm not throwing <laughs> stones, and I don't live in a glass house. What? <laughs> No, you do, and you are. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I do throw stones, but, like, how dare you insinuate I've lived in a glass house? I am sorry. I didn't know it was going to be a point of contention. (laughs) Oh. What? Oh. Why are you being a jackass? If you, if you, if you don't know where your family is, are you looking for them right now? Is that what you're supposed to be doing? I... Aren't we all just out here looking for things and places and people and other nouns? Quite. That's, I think that was the beginning of this conversation, after all. So, do you know where to start, or are you just looking around? I'm... Everything is fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, goodbye. Good night. And she stamps off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Stamps See, off to a corner you... of the room because this <laughs> yeah. is it. This is all we got. She just stands there in the, in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna fucking Blair Witch happens. in the corner. Just do what Nack did and turn around. I was gonna say exactly the same thing. <laughs> Blair Witch in the corner of the room. People are just gonna be storming off and standing in corners. Everyone was mean to me. <laughs> this is what happens when you start Asking questions and caring about things. <laughs> and then Brick mm-hmm. suddenly has a big fat ass too, and Brick's oh, is facing the yes. corner. Yeah. Of the room. <laughs> Everyone was mean to me. <laughs> Everyone, everyone was mean to me. Everyone was mean to me. <laughs> I love that. I love that meme so much. I feel like this is why we don't talk about things. We just don't finish anything. We never get there. You see. 
Everyone yes. always gets so defensive, and yes. it's like, no, no. Brix has got a bowl out, and she's just like, you wouldn't understand. And then she fucking turns back around with her bowl, and she's muttering at the bowl. I think the the problem is that we as players also just want to keep all the juicy stuff <laughs> for our little individual character arcs that we go on. And so everyone's <laughs> just like, not now. Let's not talk about this right now. No, honestly, I don't have a strong opinion. If anything, I want it out so that I won't have to keep dancing around bullshit. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it gets hard. Yeah. Eh? Uh, but, you know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to stay true to Bricks, who is mm -hmm. just sort of ornery yeah. about this stuff naturally. Oh, yeah, of course. I would absolutely dox my son, but I can't do that in character. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would throw him over a fucking balcony <laughs> if I had to. It's okay. Jesus. No love for him. <laughs> I, ca I, ca I kind of give y'all the log of, like, see. <laughs> Can't know everything about everyone. No, but we can know who you want to kill. Oh. Damn. <laughs> okay. How do you feel, Art? Tell I Dr. Know. Will. Your story, mostly. But how do you feel about it? What do you mean, how do I feel? Well, how do you feel about your father being a terribly evil person? You have tried to look at that in the face and figure out how you feel about it? I had made up my mind not to go back to where I came from 15 years ago. And why and how did you make your mind? I knew that after watching most of the people who I cared about there die, and losing track of my connection with the god that connected me to my people, I would no longer be welcome. And I came back hoping maybe I'd be wrong. And I wasn't. Mm -hmm. If anything, at least now I know I've made the right choice. But it is different, isn't it? At first you thought you would just be shunned. But they were in the right, and you felt that you were in the wrong. Because you were inadequate, since your god did not listen to you. But now you have to reject them too. It has to go two ways with what you've learned, and how do you feel about that? I... Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. No strong emotions, then? No love, loss... at all? I... I hurt. I, I miss it. I don't miss it. I miss having a place I belong, I guess. Hmm. So I'm here. Very well. The only people or things I have to lose, aside from Larian and Mal, are here with me in this room. Well. And if your father turns out to be very involved in some stuff that will inevitably get in the way. How do you reckon that is going to end? Are you saying you want to kill my father? I could not care less about your father. <laughs> That's what I figured. But what if you have to kill your father? I mean, he's killed me twice, so... Hmm. Damn. Nack puts up a claw and says, you, you don't want to use it to kill your dad, do you? Well, because you said you were born of the earth, right? Uh-huh. What? You're not going to blow up the earth with it, are you? <laughs> no, this is what not the earth ever non-existent parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. Nack looks at everyone else. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> Nack. I love the Earth. I would never hurt it. <laughs> okay. If you blow up whoever you gotta blow up, then Neck walks away into another corner. I'm glad that I have, I have your permission, then. <laughs> His ass is real fat right now. Real fat. Again. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just love that everyone's ass just... Increases the increase. Everyone's got to when they get upset when they walk around. If you, if you turn around, walking around with a fucking fat ass. Don't it's you know, know that turn around your ass grows? Fucking emotions are stored in the ass. That's why. And yes, it's yeah. not my fault that I'm caked out. Like I could be feeling whatever, <laughs> but I'm still got a big fat ass. Like I don't. 
Doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Nack just turns around. You staring at my ass? <laughs> <laughs> In Thrycrain. <laughs> yeah, he looks really angry. He looks like he's about to start something. <laughs> you staring at my ass? Wow. How late is it in the day at this point? It is definitely bedtime. Yeah. You just gave yeah. Bricks a hard time for being all like, no, it is not bedtime. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because she was pouting and running off <laughs> into yeah. a corner in the room <laughs> really that we're all <laughs> in. This, for some reason to me, f- had like weird sleepover vibes. <laughs> It, yeah, this is like this standing is around sleepover before. vibes, a hundred percent. We are having a sleepover right now in a room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We usually get our own rooms. Yeah, usually we do get our own room, and it, it's become a dramatic sleepover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this fine. It's obviously not going anywhere, so we'll keep going on, not knowing what we're doing, or what we're looking for, or why. I know what I'm looking for. Do you? Do you know what you're looking for? All we know is the things that we're looking for shouldn't be in the hands of people who know how to use them. So what you're looking for is what they told you to look for? Is that what you want? Yes. At, yeah, at, at this point. Okay. And Briggs is doing that as well? Or is she looking for her parents? I'm looking. I can look for more than one thing. I have two eyes. <laughs> One for each. Yeah. <laughs> but no more than two. And Nack, what are you looking for? Nack was not expecting that question. Knowledge. A greater understanding of the world. So many things I, I once thought were true or I've learned are false. I want to walk my own path. The pirate path. If, you know what? If I go down the pirate path, you know, maybe uh, that's... We're not, we're not getting back on pirate. It, 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 uh, listen, I'm not going to fight about the pirates, but we, we don't need to get back on, on pirates. That's, that's a, that is a Brick's distraction tactic, and you're all falling for it. <laughs> Can someone do something about this guy? He's, like, really bumming my... my he's really harsh in my, my fucking... My whole deal. Briggs, darling, you started this conversation. You're the one who wanted emotions. <laughs> I did not. You, you absolutely did. No, this conversation was started like a hundred episodes ago, and we never finished it. But you started it today. I remind you of it today. I didn't technically start it. I'm like a little post-it now. This, huh? <laughs> mm. It's a whole lot of words I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have like a legal drama arc with Bricks as a lawyer? Yes, this is just what she does. Way out of shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ace Attorney Bricks. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say Ace Attorney Bricks edition. Mm-hmm. We can all be cats. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just for a couple episodes. <laughs> but are you guys like real cat ass cats, or are you like the 2019 movie cats cats? Oh, 2019 movie cats cats. <laughs> no. Ew. But yes, I guess. <laughs> Well, if that's all we're getting tonight. <laughs> St- starts putting a robe on. Yeah. <laughs> As I put my sweater back on. Then I guess we should go to bed, finish the conversation. But. <sighs> Will, you should want to live. Yeah. And he'll just. Go sit. He's not expecting a response to that. The whole party faces yeah. the wall. Yeah, everyone faces the wall. And we all everyone's sit got fat big asses fat asses. <laughs> yeah. No, no, fuck you. You guys it's can happened. stay in the fucking hunter's lodge and and have your bro out. Brix is finally in a place where the beds are normal size. <laughs> oh She's gonna go get a bed. Oh <laughs> well, no, it's aren't there just like cots in the hunter's lodge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Son like of a- we're all. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not leaving this room. This awkward room. This is our room. This is, <laughs> yeah, room. This is our tomb. I also really like that. Aside from bricks, everyone in the party is six feet tall or taller. Yeah. So 
It's all these huge people mm. huddled up in this tiny building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of you are going to forget in the middle of the night and burst out of the fucking roof. Like, (laughs) everyone's going to witness the room transform in the way that I've transformed every room just by my presence being in them. By the time everyone wakes up in the morning, it's just going to be like a little like forest. (laughs) Cute. Fuck. The goblins would be like, who did some interior decorating in the middle of the night in here? It is lovely. Wow. Yeah, who yeah. pimped this room yeah. out? Yeah, this looks great. And we've already uh, set a precedent that that's what we do. So I mean, we did it to the salty dog. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure, that's true. This isn't the struggling business, though. Salty dog that's was. True. The salty dog needed our help yeah. desperately and graciously. We we helped them. We're only a few days out from it hitting a milestone. <laughs> really? I, yeah. But we don't know that. No. But what milestone? Know. You'll have to wait and see. Things have been happening at the Salty Dog. Yeah, yeah things are things are really happening over there. Apparently. I'm you guys blessed. really made a difference. Bless. Changed someone's life for the better. That's good. <laughs> okay, so... Is it safe to assume that everybody is going to sleep with big yeah. fat asses? <laughs> yeah, so. Yes. So just take yeah. our big fat asses to bed. Yep. Bricks gets to sleep in a brick sized bed. Just a bunch of boys with, with big fat booties sleeping in the same room. Nothing. <laughs> nothing awkward or weird about that at all. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No, what would be weird about that? In the prime of our lives, just a bunch of beautiful boys. Big, big, fat asses. Big, juicy asses. Huge asses. <laughs> they just can't keep your eyes off. Well, howdy, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us on this episode of Stumble Quest. The theme, as always, is Struttin' by Louis Zong, with some other music by Kevin McLeod of Incomputech.com. And apparently, oops, this isn't a bi-monthly podcast, it's a bi-weekly podcast. My bad, you guys. But regardless, we will see you in two weeks on March 13th. Till then, you can check out StumbleQuest.com for information about the show, cast, and characters. We are at StumbleQuest on Twitter. And if you're feeling a little sociable, why don't you join our show Discord? The link is in the description. Five-star ratings and reviews mean the world, and they uh, really do help us out with that fickle little algorithm. But if you've already been so kind as to do so, maybe tell a friend about us. You can find us on patreon.com slash stumblequest, where, yeah, you can still get entry into the play-by-post game run by Rosemary, with familiar places and faces. And the patrons who are playing in those games... I'm going to say thank you to them right now. Thank you so much to Andy Animates, Crispy, Eldritch Pixel, Elfheim, John Brideham, Kaylin, Lemon Wiki, Mad Hatter Plush Artist, Mr. Peacher, Mike Provenzano, Shaz Hands, Silver, Striker, The Tominator, Will the Smashy, and Zolt. Thank y'all so much from the bottom of our hearts. You really are helping us bring every new episode right to you. This episode was edited by myself, Allie, and you can find me at you see the hat on most socials. And uh, don't forget to tune in next time, folks, because the sheer gravitational force of the whole group just Blair Witching in the corner with the fattest asses does more to wreck this goblin in than Knack would have if he elephant exploded. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>